Sup guys, welcome back to another video. Today we look at the 23rd ranked player in the NFL for the year of 2022. It's it's uh, it's Trayvon Diggs. Not Stefan, Trayvon. The uh, older brother, younger brother? Look, I wouldn't have a fucking clue, but he's, he's ranked lower. So that might be brought up over the Thanksgiving table this year. Stefan is a wide receiver, Trayvon's a cornerback. It's funny how that's worked out, right? They must have been out in the... Out in the, the backyard as kids, you know, out on that island, wide receiver versus cornerback. Both brothers make it into the league in their respective positions. It's 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 stuff dreams are made of. And uh, these guys are living their dream. So today we look at Trayvon Diggs, cornerback for the Cowboys. Let's get into it. My dad's name Trayvon. Trayvon! Tell you what, that's something I always, always... And I will get into the video. That's something I always, um, I'm going to say I always wanted, man. I always wanted to play professional sports and have my kids in the stand. Proud of me. And um, <sighs> I guess the good thing is this video is not about me. It's about Trayvon. He say hi to me. Yeah. <laughs> Aiden's dad. It doesn't get much better than that. Trevon Diggs got the NFL's attention last year with 11 interceptions, the most by any player in 40 years. Picked out what? Of the air by Trevon Diggs. The most by any player in any position in 40 years. Okay. Hey, don't hit him too hard. Trevon Diggs jumped the route. He ran around. Oh, this should be interesting. Ooh. That's the receiver in him before he transferred to DB. Oh, there you go. So they both played wide receiver. Both brothers played wide receiver. Let's have a look at his stats. Let's see when and where he transferred. Nick Minnett. Trayvon Diggs, 1998. Is uh, 23 years of age. He is a young buck. Six foot one, 204 pounds. Went to Alabama from 16 to 19. Are we surprised? Not really. Uh, got picked up in the 2020 draft. So he's only been in the league for two years. Picked number 51 in the second round. He made first team all pro. He's been. This is his second year in the league. Second year in the league. And he's already breaking records. NFL interception leader, Pro Bowl selection, first team All Pro selection. National champion with Alabama in 2018. When will it ever stop? Came into the league running a 4.42 second 40 yard dash. That is ridiculous. First and foremost, I want to see what have we got here? Okay, so we played wide receiver. He played defensive back and wide receiver in high school. As a junior, he tallied 78 receptions for 1,008 yards and 15 touchdowns. As a senior, he had 1,269 receiving yards. He was a two-time All-Washington DC Metro selection at receiver. He committed to the University of Alabama to play college football. All right, what happened here? As a true freshman at Alabama in 2016, he played safety, wide receiver, and, and was a return specialist. So he didn't even play cornerback. He finished the year with five tackles and one forced fumble on defense. 11 receptions for 88 yards and a touchdown on offense and had 296 total return yards on special teams. As a sophomore in 2017, he switched to cornerback full-time. He was a star... Well, I mean, he was played in three positions. He's like, you know what? There's a space in cornerback. Sophomore year. Let's do it. He was a starter for the season opener against Florida State. Right. He had the opportunity to be a starter. Before being passed on the depths chart by Levi Wallace. He posted six tackles and three passes def defended. He also played on special teams, returning 18 punts for 154 yards. So he's still playing on the offensive side of the ball. But uh, as a junior in 2018, he started the first six games of the season before being lost for the year with a broken foot he suffered against Arkansas. He finished the year with 20 tackles and an interception. As a senior, and this is his time to shine, right? This is it. He's had setbacks. He's had positional changes. He started 12 games, registering 37 tackles, 3 interceptions, tied for second on the team, 8 passes defended, tied for the team lead, and 2 fumble recoveries, including a 100-yard touchdown return against Tennessee. He returned an interception for an 84-yard touchdown, recovered 2 fumbles, 1 for a touchdown, and an and had 100-plus combined return yards against Arkansas. He had a career-high 10 tackles against LSU. 
Okay, so he gets picked up in the second round of the 2020 draft after all of that. You know, it's, it's not as if he's, he's come in as a five-star sort of first-round pick, but uh, certainly solid. Plays out his first seasons, 12 games played, three interceptions, 14 passes deflected, one forced fumble, 58 combined tackles, and then goes into his 2021 season. Plays 16 games, 52 combined tackles, 11 interceptions, including a 59-yard touchdown. Two touchdowns, actually. So two interceptions went to the house. 21 passes deflected. And the man played one postseason game last year. Okay, so uh, look, he is... He's rising. He's rising through the ranks, playing for his second bag, let's be honest. And uh, look, I'll give him every chance of doing that. Him having that receiver background is going to help him be better as a D. And that's the thing. Starting as a receiver, I mean, it's only going to help. They do say that the only reason a defensive back is who he is, a defensive back, is because he's a wide receiver who can't catch. Now, I'm not going to go out there and say that. I mean, this man can catch. He got 11 interceptions. But I did hear that earlier on in the list. So if you do care, uh, let me know down in the comment section below and, and tell me if that's true or not. Throat. But let's just marvel at these interceptions. This seemed too easy. Checked out over the middle, intercepted by Diggs. Right sideline, 30. Diggs, 20. Diggs, out. So that's one of his What he's doing this year is sixes. crazy. Seeing how he worked all training camp. And then... Ugh! Tell you what. Trayvon Diggs has been lining up in training camp, in practices, against one of the best wide receivers in the league, C.D. Lamb. I like that. For us to translate in the season, it's, it's, it's crazy. I need another one. Darnold is hit as he throws the ball out. Intercepted by Diggs! First four games of the year with an interception. Seriously. <laughs> The game that solidified, I was like, man, this guy's really like that was the Panthers week when he had back-to-back -back picks. And one was like a diving one. And I was like, man, that boy's flying in the air from balls. Man, Trey's the real deal. Darnold back to throw, out to the left. It is broken up and intercepted by Diggs again. Diggs again. Diggs again. That ain't easy. I mean, I don't know why, why quarterbacks still try to throw at him, so... Uh, I mean, he's one of the best corners corners in the league. Well, we haven't seen DK for a fair while. I don't mind it. He's back in the list because he's coming up soon. I guarantee it. Uh, you know, hands down. Bro, you write history on God. Like, give me another one. Yes, I got you. I'm gonna throw this. Oh, they can't. They can't cheat that. Lots of time going deep. And he's Jones goes long, and, and it's an interception. Is this? Is he gonna take it to the house? He's going to take it to the house. Watch this. Watch this. You know, you no. don't want to My bad. Throw a, a late one, you know, across the middle against him. Stop smoking cigars, mate. Laced with, with weed. Seriously. Fires it over the middle and there's Diggs with the deflected interception left sideline. 10, 5. Of course it's Diggs. Maybe that first one was his, his longest touchdown. What was it again? Longest of 59 yards. Yeah, maybe it was the first one. Trayvon Diggs has now tied an NFL record six consecutive games with an interception to start a season. In his second year in the league. Oh, you couldn't write about it. Every time I turn on the TV, yep, he, he got another pick. Ryan throws a deep slant, it's intercepted. And that's Diggs. I heard he played receiver at uh, at Bama and, you know, Saban switched him over the corner. So that might have been something special that Saban done started. But he definitely is a special player. He got juice right now. He rolls left. Chased by Gallimore. Throws it in the end zone. Intercepted. Oh. I like Trayvon one-on-one -on -one against anybody in the league. He proved his dominance and he's one of the top defenders in the league right now. Hey. Mate, he's a receiver playing in the cornerback position. I mean, you can see it just, just through that play. Let's watch that again. That was, he was always ahead of the ball. The it, mate, it's, it's going to him. I mean, the, 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 the Washington player looks like the cornerback. Yeah, bro, he loves it. 
But what I will say is that that video is done and dusted. In the next one, we look at George Kittle, tight end for the 49ers. I don't want to take too much more of your time up. Um, head down into the description box below to check out various ways you can support the channel. Anything and everything is appreciated. If not, like the video, uh, leave a comment for the algorithm, do what you have to do. Go back and forth in the comment section, you know, argue it up. It's only going to help the channel, it's only going to help the video, and with that in mind, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.